What is he looking? See, that was a real life vampire caught on camera. That was creepy as f To be honest, I was expecting a jump scare. I thought he was gonna just like be in front of the camera like that. I'm glad he's not. He just looked down. He was like, mm. fair enough. No harm done. Eight hours of the night <gasps> that seems to show something genuinely unsettling happening right in front of his house. And as you can see here, a stranger walks up and just ponders in front of his house. The stranger proceeds to stare at the uploader's house like this for a full minute before eventually deciding to turn around and leave the scene. But why was he going to this man's house that he doesn't know and staring at it without doing anything? Although he didn't try to break into the man's house or do any genuine damage. This stuff is what terrifies me because this is real. Like this could happen to anyone. Just like an intruder coming in and just like scoping out the place. It looked like he was wearing like a balaclava at first. I can't really tell. Lots of shadows, black and white footage. Hard to tell. But that's freaky as f Imagine looking out your window and there's just a guy staring, like looking at you, waiting. I want my own home eventually, like a house that I live in with a, a backyard. But I am so scared one day someone's just gonna rock up and just stare or come in with a knife. I don't want that. No, thank you. Oh, I just hate loud noises in a quiet environment, you know? When people are trying to be quiet and then you just hear rattling. Like that scene in Matilda when Miss um, Trunchbull's after her in her home and she's running down the stairs and there's like loads of junk on the stairs and then Miss Honey knocks it all down, you know? That scene? that I did not explain very well at all. But this is clearly like a, a ghost who's pissed that they're in their home, you know? Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Central Dark, your place for all things horror. I'm your host, Lucy McPhee, and this is the Try Not To Get Scared Challenge Impossible Edition. I'm always scared, so I already lose. One clip has scared me so far, so. Just one, just the one. Maybe two. I can't remember, I've already forgotten what I've watched. Both his wife and kids are panicked about the sound, so he takes it upon himself to go downstairs and investigate. Like, I don't even want to go down there. Holy shit. Oh god. Turn the light on. I hate basements. My laundry machine just stopped. It's just me in the basement. Holy was that? What the f <sighs> It was like a child's little, a, a mini grocery cart for a child that just like flew. A ghost pushed it. First of all, why did he not turn the light on? Does he not have lights in his basement? Everyone has a light in their basement. I just wouldn't go down. Seal the door, lock it shut, you know, throw some holy water on it. Yeah, I don't like basements unless they're fully renovated. Carpets, flat screen l-shaped sofa you know sectional lazy boy but unrenovated basements can't no i won't go near it don't want to look at them i don't associate with unrenovated basements because of ghosts they lived down there this is facts he seems to have no worries in the world but that soon changes when he begins to hear something utterly creepy and unexplainable take a look and have a listen those birds freaked out what the hell is that noise I'm going over there. I need to hear whatever the hell is happening over there. I mean, fair enough. Good for him for going over there because it sounded like someone was getting tortured and maybe killed. So if someone's in pain, he's a hero or it's a trick and he's about to die. It sounded like someone was getting killed. So good for him. I, on the other hand, would have gone the other way because I'm scared of everything, but I will happily call 911. It's like a tiny little person 
that comes out of nowhere, but also a real life goblin sighting. That's like a, a real life goblin sighting. If only Keegan was here, he'd be losing his mind. It's too small to be a person, but it looks tall. Tall goblin. A real life tall goblin sighting. That's why I'm gonna go with her. It seems to just like appear out of nowhere, but it also looks like a statue. Was it moving? I don't know. Too many questions. I mean, a ghost clearly did not like that book. It was clearly A Brave New World. The book that no one likes that we would all push off a shelf. And let's not pretend the older we get, we're like, oh, Brave New World, it's so good. Yeah, okay, you can appreciate things the older you get. I get that. I mean, it was probably The Great Gatsby. Brave New World, though, no, I'd push it off the shelf. This was creepy, a ghost pushing books off a shelf. There's a presence here, could you make yourself known? Dude. How freaky is that? So he asks if, you know, if there is a presence there to make itself known. There's a slight pause and then a single piano note. And these two guys, who are both in this room at the moment, are the only two people inside the church. Okay, yeah, that's creepy. But can we just comment on the guy, the narrator, trying to be relatable? I hate when people are trying to be relatable and he's like, you know, like, did you hear, like, you know, there's uh, a noise, you know, like, can we... It's like, just say it, get it out. I don't want, I'm not trying to be your friend here, you know? Or is that just me? Did I, am I the only one that found him irritating? But that's very creepy. You always know, as soon as a, the key of a piano, you hear the little, Da, da, da. I don't know what I'm saying. Strange dark figure, but what exactly was it? I had the encounter last time. It was right here behind that tree where he kept poking out before. Okay. I keep hearing these sounds. Also, guys, another thing I need to point out. Um, I don't look at my camera all the time. I look off in the distance because it does help me the way I'm... Whoa, whoa, guys, right there. Right there, guys. What the... And it moved. It moved. I mean, yeah, it moved. It looks like a f***ing person. But it also kind of looks like... No, it's smaller than Bigfoot. Could be Bigfoot, not gonna rule it out. Could be his younger brother. But it's 100% a person living in the woods, and you're intruding, and he's going to kill you now. Reddit user Avoret published this video about a month ago and is asking for anybody to help determine what exactly he was able to capture on his home surveillance camera in the middle of the night because he is unable to come up with any sort of concrete answer. I believe this is what he's referring to. What is that? Looks like a floating caterpillar, a bit white, just like floating. I don't know what that is, it's like a series of orbs flying together but connected by a string. So many possibilities. I don't know. That's freaky. They move so f smoothly together though, or it's like a reflection of a car? I don't know. Well, there we have it. Thanks for tuning into this video. I've been your host, Lisa McBee. Stick around for bloopers. <laughs> piano ghost. They love a piano. What am I even saying? I've just got nothing to say, so I'm just gonna ramble. Miss Trunchbull's house. Matilda. Miss Honey. Miss Honey makes a loud noise when they're trying to hide. Anyway, that's what it makes me think of. Also, mm, one of my exes stole my book of Brave New World, so never saw it again. Maybe that's why I'm triggered by it. And also, um, yeah, Great Gatsby. I'd push that right off the shelf as well. Anyway. Oh yeah, this is again why you shouldn't have cameras, because cameras provoke the spirits. <laughs> I've never seen a spirit, but I guarantee if I install a camera, they're gonna be there. It's just facts. <laughs>